Alright, so you wanted to see this book coming out. So first of all, that's the logo for the game that this thing, this book is based off of. It's called Polymancer. You can see it's all wrapped here very nice. Um, just a regular hard round slipcase. Just made out of you know, book board and cut those notches out myself. So here we go. Let's pull the thing out. So this book... Just one second, I'll have it. You're going to pull it out. Enough two hands to do that, my apologies. So that's the book. It's Polymancer right here. So it's got these kind of notches taken out because it's about a guy who's, you know, fighting for his life out in the woods. I laser cut that out of there. So you can kind of see some dimension going on with this P. Cool little paper looks like cells right there, which we'll get to later. Um, book is Coptic bound, which means it has these cool little things on the side. It's not the best binding, I'll give you that, but it's all there. Um, and the deal is with that, it makes it so when you open the book, it opens flat. We'll deal with that later. Okay, so, you know, it's kind of hard to bind leather to a book, so my apologies for that thing there. Anyway, so it's the Polymancer Field Guide. I'm talking about, you know, there's the creatures involved in the book, kind of where we're going to sign the protagonist of the game's name is going to go right there. So it says, if his field guide belongs to, and whoever it's going to be, if you found this on my dead body, then tell my family I love them. So, that kind of whole deal with it. So you go on. These are all the monsters we've drawn so far. The wasp to puss. Yeah, it's just marvelous and lovely. Uh, the beetle mander. You can see where the binding is right there. That's kind of funky. You've probably seen them on Facebook before. Squirrel Batross, which is one of my favorites. Um, the raptor pod must. If you looked over here, actually it says uh, the area in the game that they're going to be found. So you can't read that now because it's kind of blurry on my camera. That's another story. So the corgi dial was, you know, goofy as heck and I love him. Uh, we also have the King Falcobra, which is also one of my favorites. Uh, the Foxolotl, which is always great. And the Piguana. So because I haven't drawn all of them yet, there's you know, a bunch of empty pages left on here. and it's Very fun. So back cover there. Closes off, a little notch taken off in the back to show it's still there. And there you are! Book. And then when it's all done, let's see if I can, you know, looking right up at the sky, I get it. Slides. Right back. There you go! Enjoy.